We are the AI Institute and our mission is to deploy AI in a responsible way. It's absolutely everywhere. Whether we know it or not, we're using it all the time. AI Institute is the largest AI organization in Australia. This institute is wonderfully interdisciplinary in a way that we involve every single faculty to get together and work together on these artificial intelligence projects and kind of share our expertise. So me coming from architecture, we can bring problems of, of data, data bias, ethics from a built environment sector into the AI Institute. And it's really at the intersection between different disciplines that some of the most exciting things happen. Because AI is leaving the laboratory and starting to be applied by everyone. The goal of the Institute, first and foremost, is research excellence. Including fostering multidisciplinary AI research. Also in our mission is to encourage public dialogue about the responsible use of AI and to provide a front door for external organizations to connect with their world-class AI research. And the final goal of the Institute is to drive the impact of that research into the real world. My personal research area is on algorithmic fair decision-making. Mine, for instance, is looking at optimizing supply chains, looking at how we fairly allocate organs, many other problems of social impact. I'm applying deep learning techniques to electronic medical records from general practice to try to predict well in advance whether someone is at high risk of cardiovascular disease. I recognise depression from speech automatically based on smartphones. Our astrophysics work, the images we receive, they're enormous. Now how do we pull out galaxies that we're interested in? How do we find those objects? And how do we clean those data potentially of, for example, satellites crossing our images. My area is uh, AI machine learning for large-scale time series and spatial temporal data. So sensors that are in your pocket, on your phones, wearables to sensors on the road and cities. How do you make cities more sustainable, more equitable and fair and more efficient in the future? An example of a recent achievement is that AI researchers at UNSW were part of a team that won the very first AI Eurovision Song Contest. We have a robot soccer team that has won the World Cup five times. Little humanoid robots about knee high that play against each other. And it's a great test track for building robots that can cooperate together on joint goals. We know that AI is only as good as the data that we have available to train it. And so those ethical considerations, which brings in people from humanities disciplines to make sure that when we do AI, that it doesn't have bias, discriminate against other people because of the training data or so forth. We call this value sensitive design. We are excited to see how AI can solve huge human challenges, including climate change, drug discovery, and cancer. I think in 10 years time, we'll be really seeing the realization of personalized and precision medicine driven by AI. Our cities will get bigger and bigger and bigger. They become too complex to understand for humans. We need AI to assist humans in decision-making to design better cities. It's important to talk about the ethics of replacing people by robots. I don't imagine that we're all going to be replaced by robots, but the people who work with AI are going to be replaced by the people who don't work with AI. Join us, engage with us, look at the events we're organising. To learn more about us, just look at unsw.ai. unsw.ai.